Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Honeywell and we're playing Stardew Valley. It's the 26th of spring here on Fourwell Farm and tomorrow is going to be a beautiful sunny day. And our fortune, spirits are in good humor. I like the sounds of that. Um, what do we have to do today? Well, it is, it's Pierre's birthday today. It is Emily's birthday tomorrow. So we'll want to make sure we budget some time in the schedule for those things. Um, we need, we are finishing up the month, uh, you know, uh, foraging, crafting, uh, doing those sorts of things. We want, we want to close out the month with like uh, 10 preserve jars, about 10 tappers. Uh, so we'll need wood and uh, coal in order to smelt everything for that sort of stuff. What else do we want? Let's make some room in this chest over here. Get out our bug meat. Uh, yeah, I think that looks good. Keep sorting our inventory here. Uh, this is, you know, forage and crop chest. This chest over here is things that are going to town. And you can see in the community center, we have uh, quite a bit of stuff piled up there. Uh, but that's okay, we don't mind. Now we have um, we have some strawberries and whatnot that have popped, and if we harvested those, we could get level eight farming. But really, I don't think there's any reason to uh, to harvest those right now, uh, so we're not going to. Uh, the more time that we can spend uh, chopping wood, uh, looking for coal, and that sort of thing, the better, I think. So that's what we'll do. We need a lot of wood just to craft with, but we also want to um, build, uh, get started on our barn as soon as our coop is done. I'm hoping that once we uh, get some farm buildings in place on the farm, um, I'll have a better idea of of what we can do <laughs> with this farm. Uh, because the goal is always to have a nice farm by the time we're done. And yeah, I'm really not feeling this new, this new layout. I can see how it would be really nice for multiplayer. Uh, but as far as, you know, design wise goes, yeah, it doesn't, I'm not inspired yet, but we'll see. I'm gonna put the barn over in, in this corner over here. And I'm hoping that the goal is really to create like another farming loop like we had on Honeydale Farm. And then once we get that loop kind of established, you know, what makes sense efficient and like chore wise each day, um, then maybe we can turn something that into something nice. And to that end, I'm putting the barn over here uh, next to this stump. Because we chopped the stump, I have the chicken coop over there next to the mushroom cave because, you know, we visit the mushroom cave. Uh, we used to do it every other day, but we're trying something new, uh, trying to, uh, to get to the mushrooms every day, which I'm not sure how that... <laughs> If that is going to be something that we're always going to be able to do or not, but we're trying. And now that we have Miss Daisy, we can get to the Secret Woods uh, quicker. And we do want level 7 foraging. And the hardwood gives, each stump gives uh, 25 experience each. So, yeah. Going to the Secret Woods is good. We'll also eventually want to upgrade our house, and that is 125 hardwood. It uh, it makes it much less painful if you've been gathering uh, hardwood from the beginning. So yeah, Miss Daisy, get out of here. There you go. Stopping for worms. Uh, 
uh, here's the traveling merchant. Now we haven't been visiting the cart because, um, you know, there's really nothing that we need to buy. Now it can speed up your uh, progress. Uh, completing the community center, um, you could get some, uh, maybe buy some loved gifts for for people. Like I'm sure, like coconuts and cactus and stuff show up on the car, which is really nice if you were, you know, looking to woo somebody. Uh, but we're really pretty happy just taking the game at the pace that we get. Uh, puffer fish are pretty common, but we'll be able to catch these this summer. Oh uh, yeah. Thank you. Come again. But we're we're just happy enough. Uh, completing everything in our own time. The only thing that we're real the only thing that we're really concerned about is our greenhouse. And not even concerned about that. Uh, but we're that's not something we want to put off because you know you can make so much money from it. And we want to kill these slimes because eventually slime is something that we'll want. And they also have a chance to drop uh, the dwarf scroll one, which is the last dwarf scroll we need. So if, uh, yeah, if that could happen, it would be nice. So annoying. <laughs> On the Reddit forum, there was uh, somebody who got a prismatic shard from these uh, guys, which is a, it's pretty nice. In order to get uh, prismatic shards from these guys, we'd have to complete the mines, and we're not there yet. I think we've just reached level 100, so still 20 more levels. We'll get there. Let's go around here and forage and chop some more trees. We can't spend too much time on this. Whoops. Um, uh, just because we want to make sure that we don't miss Pierre. Now, I know he goes to the bar after work on Fridays, but I don't know if he, if he, you know, closes down the tavern <laughs> or if he, or if he leaves early. So, And again, we wanted to do, I think 10 preserve jars sounds like a good number. And we need 16 coal for that. So so we wanna get to get to the mines. Now we could absolutely use the, um, the charcoal kiln and we are, um, but we need wood just as much as anything else, so. I really don't want to, you know, uh, use all our wood to make charcoal and then be short wood still. Let's make this Miss Daisy friendly while we're at it. And these mixed seeds are good because we'll be using those for, um, for transition seeds. And I was gonna buy parsnip seeds, um, but you know, that's like three or 4,000 gold. And while we can absolutely afford that, I think that's kind of like, I don't know, that seems like a bit of a waste. Uh, a waste of money so early in the game. What is it? Over 300 wood? That's probably good. Gotta clean out this mess.
Okay, now that we ha have a little bit more energy, let's pick up these. Let's pull up these acorns. Oh, and our maple syrup. Now with this, I set these up over here so we'd be able to see to see these, but But now that we have Miss Daisy, I think we can easily Did we not pick up? There it is. Now that we have Miss Daisy, I think that we can easily um come over to this side of the farm to pick up the, to chop our hardwood stump each day. So we'll be able to see any tappers that pop. Okay, not a bad, oh, the whole day is gone. It's 6 p.m. already, crazy. Anything for this chest? No, not really. And what else do we want to get smelting? I think we need another quartz. We need another gold bar because we need seven sprinklers. So we need another copper bar or iron bar. That's three, four, and then yeah, just quartz. We're prioritizing our sprinklers because, you know, those are, those are pretty important. Put a little bit more wood on to burn. And that's good. Let's get Pierre a present. We'll give him a daffodil. He'll like that. And there you go. That's our whole day done. Crazy how fast time passes. Um, well, I say that. But the whole day isn't really done. We're going to uh, go to the mines for a couple hours and hopefully we'll get that coal that we need. There he is. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on Friday night. You should go have some tea with Caroline. I'm sure she'd be happy to see you. Such trash pickers. Um, usually I would go right up to the mountain on Miss Daisy, but I think we should put her at the bus stop so we can uh, hopefully come home in time not to pass out. Now we want to try and come home early because we want to check the mushroom cave. Yes, let's go to the mines. Do we need this stuff? Well, I guess we can put that away. Now, usually with the mines, what we would do if we were looking for um, coal is just uh, go to level 21. But I know there is a mine cart on this level that we didn't uh, loot. So I say we can uh, take our time and just uh, loot these levels. We're looking for uh, earth crystals. And there we go, there's some coal. Earth crystals, um, some of this fiber is always good. Maybe we'll get an ancient seed, the dwarf scroll. You know, there's potential here for uh, to get some things that we uh, can use. So I'm happy to, to take our time. And you know we can never have enough copper. And there's an earth crystal, good. For you grubs and there's a little bit more coal that is good we're looking for at least 16 
to make the preserved jars, and that'll give us 10 preserved jars. But then we also want um, a little bit extra just so we can keep smelting. Nope, ladders, you are so tempting, but it's not gonna happen. Oh, uh, rice seeds are good. Uh, we can use those as um, transition crop placeovers too. Come at me, bugs. It's so nice uh, being in the mines when you can just one-shot everything. And I think, I think we should leave. <laughs> it's already 10.30, so, uh, and here we go. This is the mine level that, I know we didn't loot this cart, so, yeah, we want to get in there. And that's six coal. some stuff <laughs> so bad and a little bit more coal good that's exactly why we're here nice we're up to 21 coal and there's six coal in this cart over here which is which is pretty good i think there's ladders everywhere. They just want us to leave. And yeah, 12 o'clock. We did very well with that. Let's uh, pick and choose what we're going to bring home. We definitely want the squirrel um, quartz, our yam, seeds. Okay, we'll take that. looks good. Sure, and her fiber. Miss Daisy, thanks for waiting. And we'll have time to get our mushrooms too. Oh, preserve jars popped. Uh, let's empty our bags. Craft our preserve jars. Looks good. What do we want to smelt? I think just copper, right? Um, yeah, we want to get more copper, uh, more tappers on the go. So let's put in a round of copper. And what are we? Six, seven, eight. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight so yeah this is uh this is not bad i'm uh, pretty happy with this uh bit of work here and another round of coal of copper We'll pick up our mushroom and uh, get into bed. This was a really good day for us. You know, really good because we got back in time to do chores and not pass out. <laughs> it's like our biggest challenge. And do we need, well, you know what? more copper we always need more copper so yeah let's uh clean up our inventory and go to sleep for the night holly you're in the way <laughs> yes we're gonna take our bait and go to sleep and it's a new day saturday the 27th let's see what's on the tv a uh, beautiful sunny day tomorrow. We have had an extremely uh, dry spring. 
I think we've only had like maybe three rain days and the spirits are neutral. Uh, that's okay. Look at all these lovely crops looking good. And that is good over there because we need one more quartz to craft the sprinklers that we need. So that is good for us. Let's get out. Oh, I already got out our bait. And I think today is going to look largely like yesterday, but instead of preserve jars, we are going to build tappers. Uh, six, that seems good. That will give us 11, 11 oak trees tapped. Uh, plus we have one pine and maple. So I think I'm happy with those six right there. We That took all of our wood though. And we need 350 wood for a barn tomorrow. And we also need another 50 wood for a scarecrow. And then 50 wood for a chest. So we need about 450 wood. And we also need money, so let's sell sell what we can this morning. We'll uh, save a topaz for Emily. That looks good. We'll go over to our crop chest, see what we have going on here. Uh, the kale can go, uh, these parsnips can go, those strawberries, that, that. So chuck all this stuff in the bin here. Now our our kind of uh, finances, I have it all worked out. Um, we are going to be spending about twenty thousand uh, gold on our coops and animals uh, to build the barn, to build the coop, to buy chickens and buy cows. That is twenty thousand gold. Uh, the summer crops that we need are about twenty two thousand gold uh, plus another ten thousand in fruit trees. Uh, and then we want to spend about 10,000 gold in fishing. One, two, three. Can we make one of these? One, two, three. One, two, three. Very good. We'll sell some seeds. And this should be enough to, uh, so we can, uh, get our barn going tomorrow. Assuming we get the wood that we need today, which I don't see any reason why we wouldn't. And if not, we can always uh, sell some stuff at Pierce. Uh, did I sell? Uh, this pickled cauliflower will definitely put us up over the edge. Now, I want to kind um, as soon as we get past spring, I want to start saving our preserves until we get level 10 farming. Because they'll be worth so much more money. You guys know that. But for right now, this is good. And we'll check those. This helps keep our inventory neat and tidy, too. Um, let's start moving this stuff. Now, we don't want to place our tappers until the evening. And I think our oak tappers should um, pop tonight. Because... If you do them in the morning, they take like almost a whole day longer uh, to come up. I don't know why it is, uh, but I tested it out and yeah, it's, it's really pretty annoying, uh, but that's fine. Okay, let's go. 750, not bad. We'll go over here to our link little farming loop that we're creating. See you later, Robin. Have a nice day. It is also Saturday, so we want to forage today uh, before everything resets. And I think we're going to go to the spring onions. We'll go to the spring onion section of the map and chop down all of those trees, which would, should give us some more acorns. Uh, so when we're ready. Uh, for more oak trees, we'll, uh, we'll have the acorns ready. And then we'll have level seven foraging. So it'll take less than a week, I think, to, to mature the trees. So that's a good thing. Oh, 
nice. Another artifact. We gotta do it. A daisy. Thank you. Uh, what do we have? We have a straw hat, watermelon band, daisy, lucky boat, and good old cap. Let's go give Daisy. So cute. That's better. Worth it. And what are we looking for? We're looking for 450 wood. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, that feels pretty good. We have uh, over 500 wood and our oak trees are ready to go. So that is good. Let's do the same thing we were going to do. Uh, our, let's build, let's build the scarecrow that we need now. Let's see, we need a scarecrow and we also need seven sprinklers. Did we have some trash? I think we did. seven sprinklers so let's craft those good and if we need seven sprinklers then we need seven gravel paths for those looking good I'm feeling pretty good about what we're getting accomplished here so that is all ready to go for tomorrow let's get out our six tappers and you know what, sometime tomorrow we'll have to uh, go over to the museum in order to uh, collect our summer seeds. We'll turn in some stuff and get those, which is good. But what else do we have? We still want to, um, we definitely want to get to the beach because we want the experience for all that forage. Maybe we should eat a salmon berry. <laughs> Getting a little low there. And then we also want to go um, make sure to uh, wish Emily a happy birthday. Of course. And let's tap all of these trees that we can over here. I don't know. It hasn't been in a very exciting uh, couple days, but... We're getting lots of good stuff done. And do we have enough trees? We do. Oh, well, just stay there, Miss Daisy. Uh, oh, perfect. Let's get out of here. What a zoo. It'll be nice once we have this farm cleared out. Okay, so that is nice. Oh, a couple of jars. Are we, we still have some more cauliflower, so let's do that. Uh, that can go over in this jar, I think. And then let's 
head over to the saloon and the beach, and I think that'll be pretty good. If we have enough time, we'll forage the other areas as well. Topaz, she will like that. And we can drop those in the bin too. Yeah, let's go. So very nice to have a horse. Uh, the horse makes foraging uh, quicker and easier, so if uh, Daffodil, uh, I don't think Sebastian goes to the bar on Saturdays, does he? Uh, no, he does not. Hi, Emily. I would stay and chat, but it's 10 o'clock. I did remember your birthday. I know you like making your own clothes. It is a long trip to the city. Um, oh, this isn't bad. So we do have, we have uh, seven foraging and Shane, Emily, we're up to three hearts with Emily. Pierre shot up there with two hearts. So that was good. Now there's nothing in particular that I want from these people. Um, I just feel, I don't know. It just feels nicer to talk to everybody. more over here. It's getting late though. This is the forage that we definitely want to get um, because it is, you know, it's decent money. Uh, but there's a lot of it, so seven forage each each time we pick up one of these things. So not bad. Uh, we also need to get our mushroom cave. Oh, Willie. Willie, you're in the way. Good night. Have a good one. I don't think we'll be able to uh, go up the mountain road, which is unfortunate because I'm sure there's forage up there because we haven't been up there in a while. But, but it is what it is. At least we can get some of this stuff. Which is nice. Do we have time to loop up to the community center? Maybe. And, oh, no, there is one. And it looks like we're closing out the day with a long, lonely, dark <laughs> ride home. Um, let's keep one of these coral just in case. Uh, we're going to want to make some deluxe speed grow for, for something. So let's hang on to a coral for that. There we go. Can't believe spring is almost over. It's crazy how fast the day goes. Let's get our midnight mushrooms. I'm actually pretty impressed with ourselves that we managed to get these each night. And into bed with seconds to spare. Yes, go to sleep for the night. And there we go, we have level seven foraging. Um, the reason why this is important now is because you get tree fertilizer, which is nice. And what did we sell? 
uh, we sold some of our crops. Uh, we sold a couple strawberries, some parsnips, some kale. Uh, our big money here was our pickled cauliflower. Those are 400 each, uh, which is not bad. Some foraging. Yeah, those sea urchins are good. Uh, our fishing. Um, yeah, this is just the fish that we've been collecting from our crab pots. So it's not, I mean, it's not a lot of money, but it is some, and it's been giving us some quartz for sprinklers, which is nice. And then, of course, our sea packets, we know about those. Yeah, all this little stuff added up, 16,000 gold. That's good. It's exactly what we needed for today. Um, uh, but yeah, I think this is a two days well spent. Uh, we're getting exactly what we want accomplished. And now it's the 28th, last day of spring. Um, when we come back, we will get our fields ready and go into summer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and will leave a like if you did. Your likes and comments are always appreciated and they matter. The content you like is scheduled more frequently. Also consider subscribing if you're new. I'd love that too. But that's all for now. I hope to see you all soon. Bye-bye.